Hey, this is Swaggers doing L.A. Noir for GameGuideCentral.com. We are closing in on the end. We're on the final desk, the arson desk, and we're doing the Gas Man case. The Gas Man! Um, so this one actually starts off with multiple locations, so we're going to start off by going to the Steffens family home. And you'll t walk right up and talk to Mr. Stefan, who... It's a formality, but got his house to speak to the issuing agent. demolished in a fire, but he was he was at Catalina Islands. He took the flying boat to the Catalina Islands. Uh, travel compensation. He's telling the truth. He won the trip. Did you enter any kind of Doesn't seem like much of a victory now, does it? Um, and then suburban redevelopment. Uh, doubt that. He's kind. He's hiding something. You know, he's not. He's not a liar. He just. He doesn't want to admit that he was holding out for more money and got his house torched. So right over here is the Model 70 heater box. We can see that it was last Recently serviced by Matthew Ryan. Something to go on. And then we need to run to the phone. And we could go around, but no, you know, we're in shape. Let's just jump over that police barrier. Show off, you know, give a little show. Phelps, one two four seven. That's my badge number, one two four seven. How could I help? And then uh, we're gonna exhaust this avenue of investigation before we go to the next house. So we're gonna go to the travel agency next, and he's gonna give you a book right away. And you just need to note that the Stephens name is on there, and also the Sawyer's name is on there. Who we're gonna whose house we're going to be going to next, Sawyer also family. burned down. Bolts took the flying boat to Catalina Island. Suburban redevelopment. He's telling the truth. He doesn't know anything. He's just a, he's just a dude giving out free vouchers. And the promotional travel contest. He's, he's hiding a little something there. You know, not much, but uh, you can get that and then you leave. And now we'll go, we'll check out this suburban redevelopment fund. And you will find that it's just a shack on the side of the road, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't mean there's not evidence in there. So go in there, and on the right-hand desk is just some information showing that a Mr. Leland Monroe is involved. Spoiler alert, it's Walternet, for anyone who likes that show. Hope it doesn't get canceled. And then take off. Okay, so now we're going to go to the house fire. It's the only place we can't go, so it's pre-marked. Walk up, you get a scene. Uh, check out the bodies as the first piece of evidence. How did the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? And then we want to go to the corner here. Uh, to find this this valve and that's gonna start uh, you're gonna have a witness scene and then you're gonna go into uh, chasing this dude hey, down this is a very easy chase you should be able to get him right away Hurry, you can still hey catch him. you can still catch him I'm not gonna run after him but you go ahead it's an easy one because he's got to get this door open so you, you get plenty of time to catch up uh, get to the diner. You might trip on that guy, then you can get him right away, but otherwise you should be able to take him down right in the road here. If it does go to the end, you have to fist to cuff fight him. Okay, after that you just talk to him. He shows that he might be a pyro, and then we're going to go to the firehouse and talk to the chief, because he's got some evidence that he wants us to go over. So you'll walk up to him in the back corner here. First he's going to show you the... Uh, this the heater from the, the Sawyer's, Sawyer's right? box, and you'll see someone else serviced that one. Original uh, Varley, another person like we talked to. And then he's going to give you a little inspection puzzle to see if you can figure this out. And it's uh, Bunston burner first on the left. It's on the right. We're putting it on the far left. And then the valve in the middle, which is the blue knob. 
and he's going to give you a little, good. oh, your good, your regulator is in position, thanks. And then, oh, I didn't know you could pick him back up. That's not what I wanted. To get this balloon, doesn't look like a balloon, but that's a balloon. Put that end, and then you uh, to be next to the ignite, you uh, ignite. make the gas start, and then, okay. I'll your and then she'll ignite it. Turn the gas. You pull the lever and that's on the, the far, far left. The there we go. Gas. Boom! Okay, so then that kind of tells you, hey, we need to go check out uh, the Instaheat factory. Uh, quick note, if you're looking for cars, there is a custom Packard almost always parked here when you get here for the case. So get in that before going inside. Do an improved, then a quick talk to the secretary and she'll point you to, in the right direction. By a judge. A there he is at his desk. Rasic. Rasic. Went over you him about the Model 70. Um, some doubt. Yeah, those those are uh, Model 70s are pretty crappy. Are these diaphragms? And he's straight up lying there. Um, we know that because uh, the heater serviced by Ryan. Okay, after that, he's going to give you the name of all his installers. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R and I. And we want to cut that list down to known suspects. So let's uh, head over to the telephone here. Whenever I put this list down, I'm memorizing it right now. All those names. So just go. Phone's right here. On the side. Operator and uh, KGPL. KGPL will give you three names. Go talk to him again, and then he'll lead you to the lockers. And then on third from the left is Clemens, which is the first one. He's got this uh, Antarctic pamphlet in his locker. And you can further examine it, but there's nothing in there, just text. No notes, no, hey, yeah, I should do this to someone's house. Uh, move down a few lockers, you'll hear the nice beep. And this is Ryan's locker, and you can see he is very... He's the uh, distributor of the pamphlets. Light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. So he's not very happy with society. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? Okay, nothing else is of importance, and then let's uh, move down to Varley's locker. And in Varley's locker, we see these mosquito coils, uh, which they're going to tell you are used by uh, firebugs because they give you a good long. Um, Varley has a problem with bugs. Wick, you know, takes a while for them to burn down. Okay, so we got all our suspects, and they're all possible, so now we're going to start going location to location, and we'll start with Clemens. Clemens just had problems with wipes, so let's just get some information from him. His knowledge of Barley. Uh, I doubt that. His knowledge... We're going to doubt that also. And then his uh, knowledge of Ryan. Um, that's a lie, and we know that because he's got one of those pamphlets. Clemens pamphlets. Okay, so let's go to the next guy. Uh, we're going to go to Ryan first. And he's going to run, and it's just a standard chase, you know, just trying to get him down. Um, be careful because this is a dangerous one. There's a lot, there's jumps and people running around, and you don't want to lose all of your, you know, cause a lot of damage. Boom! Oh, oh, oh yeah, you're going down. And then he'll be taken to uh, central booking to interview later. Now let's go get 
Uh, Varley, and again, if you aim, if you take this corner here and aim quick, you can get the shot off right away. Just end this before it even really begins. Can't shoot him; that'll end it. So you've killed your suspect. Okay, so now let's go down to the police station and talk to both of these guys and find out who we're going to charge. Who's the lucky fella? Here's what I heard. Cops caught the guy who did the dally, but they covered it up. So we're going to go into interview room two first and talk to Varley, his work. And that's a lie. We know that because of the instant heat record of him uh, repairing it. So, record heater service by Varley. And then, this, what does he know about suburban redevelopment? He's lying there too. He does know about him. Know about him because of Clemens' statement that people are getting kickbacks. What would reversing the and then the Model 70. He's lying about that too. He's just a dirty liar. We know that because of uh, Rasik's statement. I'm sorry, his mosquito coils. We know that he knows they can be used to burn. Mosquito. Okay, now we're going to go into interview one and talk to Ryan. Uh, his literature is this a lie. Is a real sabotage campaign. You know that because of Ryan's literature. We've yeah. seen his pamphlets. Um, the Instant Heat Model 70. Uh, that's a lie, and this time because of Risk's statement. We know that he... Everyone had to learn how to do it. Your boss know you. Okay, and then the Suburban Redevelopment. What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. Doubt it. I think Suburban is a fascist. And then finally, the his attempted murder charge. Okay. Doubt that also. And then if you want five stars, you have to um, arrest Ryan right there. Ryan's five stars. Uh, GameGuideCentral.com. Check us out for full L.A. Noir coverage.